Charlie Brown Cyclopedia, Volume 2, featuring all kinds of animals, from fish to frogs. Oh, there's a fish. And a little, little froggy. Funk and Wagnalls. As I've found my entire set as a kid that I had probably since I was born. We will be exploring these. And there's my cat. Hello, 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 Lime Green Squid. Welcome. We are here to explore Charlie Brown's Cyclopedia, Volume 2. Do, 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 do. Butterflies like me. <laughs> What's it say on the back? Ah, oh, just that. Psst, wake up, it's almost noon. The early bird gets the worm. That's true, you can get a pizza till midnight. <laughs> All kinds of animals from fish to frogs. Have you ever wondered how fireflies light up or how the shark got its name or whether you can eat sea cucumbers? Charlie Brown and the rest of the Peanuts gang are here to help you find the answer to these questions and many more about all kinds of animals from fish to frogs. Have fun! <coughs> Excuse me. About the animal kingdom. How many different kinds of animals are there? Fifty? A hundred? A thousand? Ten thousand? A hundred thousand. No, there are a lot more than that. More than one million kinds of animals live on Earth. Or live on Earth. We can, when we think of animals, we usually think of our pets. The animals on a farm and the animals in a zoo. We forget the creatures that live in the ocean. We forget insects, worms, and spiders. We forget birds. They are all animals, too. And we are as too, as well. To a scientist, an animal is anything that is alive but is not a plant. The list of animals includes creatures that are so tiny we can see them only under a microscope. Well, that's kind of true. They, they have their own group. Is that like the phylum and... No, wait. Uh, I don't remember those names. The ones that are before <laughs> protozoa and something else <laughs> And the list And the list includes you, too. That's right. As an animal. We are all animals. I'm an animal, too. How smart are animals? No other animals are as smart as people, but some are very intelligent. Apes, monkeys, and dolphins are the smartest. They can learn and learn to do many things. Some of them can even solve problems. For example, a dolphin in a tank was once playing catch with a feather. The one time the feather stuck to the side of the tank, high above the water. The game seemed to be over, but the dolphin figured out how to get the feather back. It jumped up and brushed the feather loose with the side of its head. The dolphin had solved its problem, and the same, and the game could go on. Most animals are not nearly this smart. Animals such as clams, crabs, insects, and worms are the least intelligent of all. They can't learn to do very much. <laughs> Some can't learn anything. Have you ever have you ever tried to train a clam? <laughs> what are instincts? Why do bird why do birds need so much string when they're building a nest? I'm sure I don't know. I made a swing. <laughs> Do animals talk to each other? You can sometimes hear lions roar ten miles away. How long do animals live? We think... Oh, let's see. The longest living animal is probably the tortoise. We think it may live more than 150 years. At the other extreme is the mayfly, which lives only a few hours. The other animals are in between. An elephant can live 60 or 70 years. Your dog or cat will live to about 12 to 15 years. A rat or mouse will live only two or three years. Some people say there are parrots that have lived more than a hundred years, but no one has proved they do. Parrots can probably live to about 50 years. So can geese, swans, and alligators. Oh, 50-year geese. I never thought about that. Rattlesnakes can live... No wonder they're so cranky. They can live up to 50 years like, ah, uh, <laughs> same day, same fucking pe assholes. <laughs> Sorry, I guess this is a children's book, and again, I swear... Rattlesnakes can live up to 18 years, but garter snakes don't usually live more than 5 or 6 years. People live about as long as elephants, around 70 years. Well, it's closer to... Well, I guess it's probably 70 is now an, the average, maybe. But I was thinking it's closer to 80 or 90 now. I don't see any gray hairs. <laughs> Tortoises don't have hairs. You can sometimes hear a lion's roar 10 miles away. Ooh, blue whale. What is the biggest animal? The biggest animal in the world is the blue whale. Some blue whales have grown as long as 109 feet and weighed 150 tons. A baby blue whale gains about 200 pounds a day. 
Why do some animals sleep all winter? What animals what animals sleep all winter? Excuse me. The winter sleepers include the ground squirrels, woodchucks, some boat <laughs> boats, bats, and jumping mice. Other animals such as the bear, skunk, chipmunk, and badger sleep part of the winter. They come out on days when the air isn't very cold. Many toads, turtles, snakes, frogs, and salamanders, and some insects also hibernate. What is the fastest animal? The fastest of all animals is a bird called the swift. The spine-tailed swift can fly at a speed of more than 100 miles an hour. The word swift means fast, so there's no question about how this bird got its name. <laughs> the fastest land animal is the chia. It can run at more than 60 miles per hour. What do we got here? A baby wi- yeah. Winter had come again all too soon, and it was time for Joe Jacket to bring in his polar cows. As he rode out from the barn, the first flakes of snow began to fall. He looked up at the slate gray sky and shivered. The blizzard started quickly, and a howling wind pounded the snow across the bleak prairie. Joe Jacket hunched forward in, a saddle, in the saddle and urged his mount forward through the flying snow and screaming wind. Tell my publishers not to expect a manuscript until spring. Ha ha ha. Shh, frog hibernator. <laughs> How do cannibals... Can cannibals? How do animals live in the desert? <laughs> you get a little bit of a, a, a cameo from Skittles there. How do mother animals know their own babies? By their smell. What are tails for? The tails of animals are good for many things. A cow uses it as a fly swatter when it swishes away pesty insects. Pes pesty? Pesty. Not pesky. Interesting. A fox wraps itself up in its tail to keep warm. A beaver slaps its flat tail on the wind water to give a warning signal. And for swimming. A fish uses its tail to help it swim. A squirrel uses its tail as a parachute when it jumps through treetops. A spider monkey can wrap its tail around a branch, branch and swing. A lizard called the gecko can drop its tail and grow a new one. Why are there zoos? To the zoo! Why do some... Why do some... Blah, 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 why do some animals die out? Uh, extinction. Fall. Eagle. Dinosaur. Getting ex uh, endangered. Pollution is killing many animals today. Scientists think that some animals become extinct because of changes in climate. In places where they live become hotter or cooler, drier or wetter. The food that they usually eat cannot grow there anymore. If the animals can't learn to eat something else, they die. And dinosaurs may have died out for this reason. Got the big whole, big whole thing. <laughs> How gross. <laughs> animals with no bones. Are there animals that don't have any bones? Yes, insects, worms, and many animals that live in the sea have no bones. Most of these animals do have some hard parts, but these parts are on the outside of their bodies. The hard parts protect the animal's soft insides. What are seashells? Can you hear the sea in a seashell? No, you can't. When you hold a large spiral-shaped shell to your ear, you hear a roar. But it's not the roar of the sea. The shape of the shell makes any slight sound in the ear echo back and forth inside the shell. Sounds that you may not normally hear are picked up by the shell and made louder. The shell of a giant clam may weigh up to 600 pounds. Holy freak. How does an oyster make a poor but how does an oyster make a pearl? <laughs> Sometimes a little grain of sand gets inside the shell of a pearl oyster. The sand rubs against the soft body of the oyster to stop the rubbing. The oyster wraps the sand in layer after layer of the same shiny coating it takes to line its shell. We call this coating mother of pearl. Gradually, this, the bit of sand is wrapped in so many layers that a little ball forms. This ball is a pearl. What happens if you grab a crab by one leg? <laughs> If the crab doesn't pinch you, it will probably let its leg drop off. The crab will run away, and you will be left holding the leg in your hand. Dropping a leg is the crab's way of protecting itself from you or any other danger. The crab can easily grow a new leg to replace the one it left behind. And the predator is left with a tasty crab leg. <laughs> the horseshoe crab has been around for 500 million years. Hi, Skittles. What is a sponge? A sponge is a sea animal with a soft, elastic skeleton. The animal has no legs, arms, fins, or stomach, and it doesn't move around at all. For many years, people thought the sponge was really a plant. The soft skeleton of a dead sponge can hold a lot of water, so people have long used sponges for cleaning. But today, the sponge you use to wipe your kitchen counter is probably made in a factory. <laughs> yeah, sponges are, are very interesting. They're like 
basically the earliest form of animal life. Or possibly just life. <laughs> Why does an ox... <clears throat> Why does an octopus squirt ink, black ink into the water? Squirts black ink into the water in order to hide from an enemy. That enemy may be a shark or a whale or a person. What does an octopus do with its eight arms? <laughs> it has eight arms to catch crabs, clams, lobsters, and other shellfish. <laughs> the basket starfish has more than 80,000 arms. Oh boy. Did I finish anything? <laughs> she tried to eat the <laughs> something. <laughs> oh, she tried to eat the crab leg. <laughs> I see. Why do jellyfish sting? What's the animal looks like? A flower. The anemone. That's what I was trying to say in my other game video. Anemone anemones. <laughs> Can you eat a sea cucumber? Yes, but it doesn't take like taste like the cucumber you eat in a salad. A sea cucumber is not a vegetable. It is an animal that lives in the sand at the bottom of the sea. It was named sea cucumber because it was it is long and thin and looks much like a cucumber. However, it changes its shape all the time as it moves around. Sometimes it's very long and very skinny. Sometimes it's short and fat. Sometimes it's fat at both ends and skinny in the middle. Sea cucumbers are used in oriental cooking. You can find them on the menu in some Chinese restaurants. How do snails walk? Snails have no legs, but they do have a foot. The whole bottom of a part of a snail's body is one smooth, flat foot. It moves the snail along the ground. As the snail moves, its foot gives off a slimy liquid. The liquid helps the snail move more easily. If you cut a starfish in pieces, each piece will grow into a whole starfish. But that would be very mean, so don't do that. <laughs> what happens when you when a earthworm is cut in two? That's what it was about the uh, how worms have multiple heart chamber things. A worm two feet long? That's ridiculous. How long is the longest earthworm ever found? The longest earthworm was even longer than two feet. It was nine feet long. Yeesh. Is that counting tapeworms? Those things are friggin' creepy. How many insects are there in the world? Stick bug. Fly. Fly. <laughs> I don't know. Gnat, maybe. Fly. Ladybug. Ant. Uh, dragonfly. What is an insect? Six legs, three ch body chambers. <laughs> Where do all the insects come from? From eggs. 300 babies come out of each egg laid by a chalcid fly wasp. Ooh. Are insects of any use to us? <laughs> Bees make honey and help our uh, agriculture and help the nature. Silkworms make silk, which we use for clothing. An insect called the lac gives off a sticky liquid that we use to make shellac. <laughs> Bees, butterflies, moths, and other insects carry the yellow dust called pollen from flower to flower. Then the plants can grow seeds, which will become new plants. We eat some of these seeds and fruits and vegetables, and we plant some seeds for new crops. <laughs> Why are insects so thin? What was the largest insect ever to live? Many millions of years ago, there lived a giant dragonfly whose body was 15 inches long. About that, I guess. Its wings measured more than 27 inches from tip, tip of one wing to the tip of the, another. So it was this long, but had wings about this w wide. <laughs> Interesting. However, its insect's body was only about a quarter of an inch thick. If the dragonfly had been fatter, it would not have been able to breathe. It's a bird! It's a red dragon! Red baron! It's a dragonfly! <laughs> What is the largest insect living today? The largest insect is a type of walking stick that lives in the tropics. It is very long and skinny, and it looks a lot like a twig when it rests on a tree. This walking stick sometimes grows to be nearly 13 inches long. Interesting. Where do insects go in winter? Some monarch butterflies travel more than 2,000 miles to the south for winter. They follow the ducks and, and the geese. What insects act most like people? Ants act most like people. What is an ant cow? <laughs> ant cow is another name for an insect called an aphid. A aphids make a sweet pollen called honeydew. Certain kinds of ants keep aphids and milk them, just as farmers keep cows. An ant farmer uses its feelers to stroke an aphid's sides. The aphid then lets out a drop of honeydew for the ant to drink. <laughs> or carry back to the queen. 
What is a doodle bug? <laughs> it is another name for a young antlion. Antlion? How do you... What is that? Antlion? 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 I've only ever read it in video game uh, bad guy titles. <laughs> and antlion is not an ant, and it's not a lion. Okay, so it's probably antlion. Antlion. Interesting. It is an insect that, to an ant, might seem as ferocious as a lion seems to us. Ooh. So, in the early part of its life, an antlion digs a pit in sand and bears itself at the bottom. Only its head sticks out. Oh! That's the... That's that's just like Act Razor. Holy shit. No wonder I had, like... No wonder my brain gravitated to loving Act Razor so much. And... and well, I never enjoyed this boss. He was always tough. He, he always hit you. No matter what, there was no way to really dodge every single hit of his. But you could get him. And there was always... Yeah, and the ants in the level... Okay, that makes so much sense. And its head sticks out. And waits. it waits for an ant to fall into the pit. When one does, the antlion kills it and sucks the juices out of its body. <laughs> kind of like the, the pit of Sarlacc. That's cool. Are ladybugs useful? Yes. Ladybugs are very useful because they eat aphids. Although ants like aphids, people don't. Aphids drink the juices in plants and ruin farmers' crops. Ladybugs eat so many aphids that people use them to control the pests. Some farmers raise ladybugs and let them go in places where aphids are eating the crops. <laughs> now they're replaced by the ladybirds or something. Well, what is it? And... They're the orange ones, and they can be... They can bite and sting, apparently. So, yikes. <laughs> How can a fly walk on the ceiling? Because the pads of each of its six feet. If you look at a fly with a magnifying glass, you can see these pads clearly. Some scientists think that the fly stays on the ceiling because the pads are sticky. Others believe that the curved pads flatten out against the ceiling and hold on to any... Hold on the way suction cups do. Will darning needles harm you? Darning needles... Isn't that called the dragonfly? <laughs> Look like dangerous insects, but they are really perfectly harmless. In fact, they are very helpful to us. They eat many insect pests, such as flies and mosquitoes. A darning needle's name is a dragonfly. A real name is a dragonfly. Okay. Yeah, I'd never heard of darning needle, only dragonfly. Even, I guess, maybe I didn't go through this book as often. A dragonfly can keep up with a car moving at 50 miles an hour. Ooh. <clears throat> Cover your mouth, it's a dragonfly. Dragonflies sew up your lips so you can't eat, and starve, and you starve to death. Woo! There's something I think I should tell you. Dragonflies do not sew up your lips so you can eat, can't eat, <laughs> and you starve to death. A lot she knows. I've been down at the library all morning. I've been doing a little research. There's not one case in all medical history where a dragonfly sewed up someone's lips so he couldn't eat, and he starved to death. I wonder why they'd cover up something like that. <laughs> how do fireflies light up? Yeah, how do they fuck friggin' do that? Fireflies make two special juices in their bodies. When these juices mix together with air, fireflies light up. Huh. Scientists are not sure why fireflies make this light, but they think that it is probably a signal to attract a mate, most likely. I've never seen a firefly. I, I, I would love to. The, the fact that light can be made by just mixing chemicals in air is quite amazing. How do bees make honey? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Ooh, cool. Really good drawings. One thousand bees must work their entire lives to make one pound of honey. Yeesh. Why do bees buzz? It's the wings moving really fast. Why do bees sting? Sting because they are mean. <laughs> that is why they sting. <laughs> Sally is wrong. Bees are not mean. Bees sting in order to protect themselves from enemies. If you don't bother a bee, it will usually not feel threatened by you, and it will not sting you. However, the smell of certain perfumes may cause a bee may cause a bee to sting. So if you're wearing perfume, watch out. I remember as a little kid, I made friends with this little bee in the backyard of, of my parent of our house <laughs> back in like eighties when I was a like toddler. And I was kind of uh, brave and stupid enough to tap its bottom to see if it had a stinger, and thankfully it did not. So I was I went around the backyard and found buttercups and dandelions for it to drink from and it's and it did it, it put its tongue in them and it, was, uh, it seemed very happy i put it down when i had to go inside and i vowed to find it again but i never found it again so it was probably on its way out but i'm glad it spent I, I, it spent 
one of the last days being fed some tasty buttercups and 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 uh and dandelions because it didn't seem to be able to fly away anymore does it does a bee die when it stings you only honeybees die when they sting you no other bees do ah most of the bees that sting have smooth stingers after one of them stings you it's stinger slips right out of your flesh but the honeybee stinger has a hook at the end of it when the honeybee flies away after stinging you the stinger stays hooked into your soft into your flesh soft parts of the bee's body pull off with the stinger and the honeybee soon dies so i hope that's not what happened to it or if it was i was giving it <laughs> giving it some some food <laughs> how dangerous is the sting of a bee or a wasp Bee or wasp is not usually dangerous to people, but some people, it hurts a lot, but some people are uh, allergic or something or have deadly, yeah. There was one time when we uh, were exploring, I don't remember what it was called. We went out on our uncle's uh, boat to a little island off the, off the coast, off the west coast of BC, but not Vancouver Island. And we were chasing our our uncle's dog with our aunt, with our cousins, and uh, throwing a stick and watching him chase it. I threw the stick a little too far into the forest. He jumped in. A swarm of wasps, f like clouded out, and chased us and stung all of us and stung the dog as well. Poor puppy. It, it was she was okay. Uh, no, it was Rex. He. They had several dogs. Uh, Rex was okay, but yeah, you know, a dog doesn't. You know, dog doesn't deserve bee stings. And uh, yeah, it was it was horrible. It felt horrible, but we we all healed eventually. <laughs> my cousin and my sister got the most stings because my sister seems to have the kind of blood that attracts that kind of. You know, some people have the blood that bugs love. Mosquitoes, fleas, flies, uh, bees, <laughs> wasps, whatever. Where I tend to be ignored for the most part by, by fleas and stuff like that. Mosquitoes will fuck me up, but <laughs> I won't be fucked up. They'll just, you know, get me. But yeah. Wasp stings are horrible. What are hornets and yellow jackets? Hornets and yellow jackets are two of the most familiar kinds of wasps. As wasps, they are related to bees and are known for their love of fruit juices and their painful stings. Some kind of wasps leave all alone, live all alone. Others, including hornets and yellow jackets, live in groups, as honeybees do. Like all wasps, hornets and yellow jackets are helpful insects. The adults feed their babies insects that are harmful to people and crops. Paper wasp, potter wasp. Ah. Interesting. What is a wasp's nest made of? Different kinds of nests. Paper wasps, including hornets and yellow jackets, build their nests of paper. <laughs> Make the paper by chewing up wood. <laughs> How do mosquito bites... Why do mosquito bites itch? How did the praying mantis get its name? Because it looks like that. Good grief, I wish my praying mantis would catch that noisy mosquito. Some people tie praying mantises to their beds to catch pesty in... Pes Pest, again, pesty insects again. So not pesky. Not pesky with a K, but pesty with a T. My uh, throat is dry. It's hard to say the K. Water. Moths fly at night, but not Woodstock. Because <laughs> he's a bird. <laughs> what is the difference between a moth and a butterfly? Ooh, I have to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me for being human. How does a caterpillar turn into a butterfly? Ooh, this has nice, beautiful graphics, too. Yeah, the caterpillar spins a, a cocoon around itself for a chrysalis. And then a wing crow and they burst out. <laughs> Don't butterflies spin cocoons? No, butterflies do not spin cocoons, but moths do. When a moth caterpillar is big enough, it spins a protective case around itself. This is called a cocoon. Ah, yes. I saw a few of these as a kid, and I didn't know what they were, and I feel so bad now because I just picked it off the wall. Uh, I think it was a fence in the backyard. 
just under the under the wood where you know the, the cross wood just right in the corner little yellow balls of cotton i picked it up and i was like what is this is this is this food is this a is this a toy or i squished one and it was you know yucky so i was like oh and then i, I put the other one down <laughs> i felt bad well i feel bad now back then i was like what the frig <laughs> Or whatever the uh, four-year-old equivalent to that would be. How do we get silk from silkworm? Silkworm, moth, and eggs. Young silkworms eating the leaves. Silkworms spinning cocoons. Oh, silkworms are open cocoon. Those damn silkworms in Newfoundland when I lived there in 2003 to 2008, there was one year where they were completely taking over every tree downtown in St. John's and like hanging down from the trees in the hundreds, in the thousands. One time in the bus, we saw a lady had an earthworm crawling around in her hair. It was horrible. And the streets below them, like they met, they left some sort of weird reddish. Hi, Cinder. Some weird reddish residue all over the sidewalk. And it was just absolutely disgusting. <laughs> If, uh, I think they they either cleared out or they exterminated them because they didn't return the next year, thankfully. Sorry to kill a life, but holy fuck, that was absolutely unlivable. Like, people had to walk out on the streets to avoid the trees that hung over the sidewalks because there would be thousands of silkworms hanging from them. It was insane. Why do moths eat your clothes? Why do moths gather around light bulbs at night? Ooh, I have a drawing for that. Look up. Uh, <laughs> moth. Light bulb. <laughs> something. <laughs> Put lime green squid, moth, and light bulb together in your search. If you do DeviantArt. Or go to my uh, Facebook. How do worms get into apples? They are born there. <laughs> in the summer... In the middle of summer, when apples are growing on t apple trees, female flies lay their eggs inside some of the apples. The, fly the eggs catch into tiny hatch into tiny worms called larvae, which begin eating the apples. If you bite into one of these apples, you'll find a worm. If no one picks the apples, they fall off the trees in the autumn. The larvae crawl out and bury themselves in the ground. A hard skin forms around each one, and next summer, the fly comes out of the skin. Yeesh. How do cr crickets chirp? By rubbing their back legs together. Yeah, it's quite a quite an acoustic going there for such a tiny mis, uh, insect to make such a loud noise. Why do termites eat the frames of our houses? Termites don't eat the wooden frames of houses just because they're hungry. They are also building their homes in the wood. They chew holes that they use as rooms to live in. They line the holes with chewed up wood that they have made into a kind of clay. Wood eating termites damage more than the frames of houses. They eat wooden bridges, fences, and boats. If they get inside houses, they eat furniture, books, and paper. But look what termites did to Snoopy's house. Supper time. Good grief. <laughs> what happened to your doghouse? Never mind. I hate waiters who ask personal questions. Tiny, tiny animals live inside every termite and help it digest wood. Interesting. There's always something smaller. Instead of... Uh, the famous quote there's always another bigger fish <laughs> there's always a smaller bug working for or controlling the larger bug why can't we get rid of cockroaches our experts at staying alive can eat almost anything garbage soap book bindings even television wires been around since the days of the dinosaurs uh, we had a few a couple months ago I, I, uh, well they're managing to hide enough <laughs> Roaches will probably be around for the next few million years. Blech. Exactly. Are spiders insects? No, they are arachnids. Do, how does a spider spin a web? Out of silk that it makes inside its body. The silk comes out in very thin liquid threads. As soon as a thread touches air, it hardens. Some Like a, like a super... Uh, no, not super glue. Uh, glue gun. <laughs> Some of the threads are sticky and some are not. The spider attaches the threads to a tree or a house in a particular pattern. One kind of web you may have seen is called an orb web. It looks something like a wheel. Flies and other insects get caught in the sticky threads of the wheel. The spider then kills the insects and eats them. 
Why aren't spiders caught in their own webs? Because they're careful to walk only on the non-sticky threads. But even if it does slip and touch the sticky threads, it isn't caught. It is protected by an oily covering on its body. Oh, interesting. If you strung a pound of spider's threads end to end, they would circle the earth. <laughs> what is a daddy long legs? It's a relative of the spider, but it does not spin a web. You can easily recognize a daddy long legs by its tiny body and eight very long skinny legs. If it loses one of these legs, it will grow a new one. Aha. Uh -huh. There have been some spiders in my kitchen sink lately, and I've been saving them from death. <laughs> fishing. I suppose it's never occurred to you that fishing is a cruel sport. How would you like to be tricked into swallowing a sharp hook? Would you like to be jerked away from all your friends and tossed into a frying pan? You never think about things like that, do you? Hmm. Dropped a heart? Or did the, the fish give the heart to Lucy? <laughs> How many kinds of fish are there? Scientists have found about 21,000 different kinds of fish. Probably more than that now. All of them are alike in some ways. They all have bones inside their bodies. Did I mention this is from 1980? Almost all fish have fins, which help them swim, and most have scales to protect their bodies. Lime green and a good blue. How can fish breathe in water? How can can any fish live out of water? Lungfish in a mud ball. <laughs> Lungfish. <laughs> How can fish live in a frozen pond? Shh, you wake up the fish. Do fish sleep? A grown-up flounder has both eyes on one have eyes both eyes on one side of its head. <laughs> what do fish eat? How's this one? How about this one? Rats. How about this one? And how about this one? It's impossible to go fishing with Woodstock. He knows all the worms personally. <laughs> but doesn't he eat them as being because he's a fish? Uh, he's a bird. Does a fish feel pain when caught on a hook? A hooked fish feels very little pain. In order for any animal to feel pain, it must have many nerves in the area that is hurt. The nerves send a message of pain to the animal's brain. A fish has very few nerves around its mouth where it usually gets hooked, so it cannot feel very much there. That has always felt suspicious to me, because isn't the mouth supposed to be one of the most sensitive things so that you know what you're tasting before you eat it? That seems like... So, uh, uh, something that people are paid to lie about <laughs> i would imagine although i loved fishing when i was a kid and i might still want to do it uh if i ever get the chance do fish have voices a few do a fish called the croaker makes a deep scrumpy sounding grump is that you cinder making a deep scrump sounding grump yeah cinder yeah yeah oh me Meow. The sound is made in the fish's belly and is not like the noise of a bull. Is a lot like the noise a bullfrog makes. A fish called the grunting catfish makes a sound too. Ah, you're the grunting catfish, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> but only when you take it out of the water. What is a school of fish? It's a bunch of fish. <laughs> How many fish are in a school? It can vary from about twenty-five in a school of tuna to hundreds of millions in a school of sardines. How fast can a fish swim? The sailfish is the fastest fish between more than 60 miles an hour. A few fish can uh, swim between 30 and 45. Most are much slower. Small trout moves only at four. <laughs> Still swims faster than you do. The sailfish is the fastest fish. Do all fish swim? That's a weird motherfucker. One kind of fish does not swim. It walks along the sand at the bottom of the water. It is the, this is the batfish. Ah. The batfish lives in shallow salt water. Its fins are not really fins. They are a lot, they are more like legs. The batfish uses them to walk around. Evolution in progress. The upside down catfish swims on its back. <laughs> what fish is the smallest? The pygmy goby is the smallest adult fish. It hardly ever grows longer than one third of an inch, which is only this long. Eww. Stocked with pygmy goby. goby. <laughs> what fish is the biggest? The whale shark is the biggest fish. It can grow up to 59 feet long, and it can weigh up to 15 tons, more than twice as much as an African elephant. I know the answer, I know the answer. The answer is a seahorse. It isn't. A tuna? A mackerel? A sailfish? How would it be if I spelled 
if I just spelled <laughs> how would it be if I just spelled Mississippi <laughs> are sharks dangerous yes many of them are dangerous how did the shark get its name the word shark comes to us from Latin meaning word meaning sharp teeth <laughs> is any fish more dangerous than a shark a piranha may be more dangerous than a shark although piranhas are small they have very sharp teeth these fish travel in schools of thousands and attack all at once. A school of piranhas can eat all the flesh of a big fish or even a human in just a few minutes. Piranhas live only in the Amazon region of South America. Dreaming of being eaten by a fish? Woodstock has some weird dreams. <laughs> Do flying fish really fly? No, they just glide through the air a little bit. How long can goldfish live? At least one goldfish is known to have lived for 40 years? Most goldfish can live about 17 years? Oh, I thought there were like only two or three. Interesting. Pet goldfish in aquariums don't usually live so long. Ah. They often die young from dirty water or a sudden change in water temperature. Ah. In a large pond, a goldfish can grow to be as long as your arm. Ah, yes. Our neighbors had a little, like, uh, pond fountain-y thingy. And we went over there a couple times, and they had like koi fish in there. I didn't know what they were called. They're just big giant orange fish. <laughs> and it was, it was really cool. They, it, their backyard looked like they were really rich. What do baby eels look like? Baby eels don't look at all like their parents. They look like tiny glass leaves. But as they grow, they change into the long thin fish we recognize as eels. What does an electric eel do with its electricity? It uses its electricity to catch food and to scare off enemies. Fish's body is something like a car battery. It makes and stores electricity, which the eel can turn on and off. The shock the eel gives can be strong enough to throw a man across a room. Small water animals are stunned by the shock and can't get away from the hungry eel. Scientists are still trying to find out exactly how this fish makes its electricity. Is a seahorse a fish? Yes, a seahorse is a fish, even though it doesn't look much like one, except for its head doesn't look, look much like a horse either. A seahorse doesn't move the way most fish do. It swims in an upright position with its head up and its tail pointing down. The one fin on its back moves very quickly and by skittles and pushes the seahorse along the water. Hi, my baby. The seahorse <laughs> swims in an upright position. You looking to get down to get some food? Or some water? Are you going to sit on my lap? Okay. Please do. <laughs> Are there any sea serpents? Yes, there are sea serpents, but they are not monsters. They are simply snakes that live in the sea or fish that have snake-like bodies. One of these fish is the oar fish. It grows to be 25 or 30 feet long and has a bright red, has bright red spines sticking out of its head. It looks pretty frightening, but is really quite harmless. It looks neat. Baby seahorses hatch inside a pocket on their father's belly. What is a mermaid? The word mermaid means sea maiden. <laughs> Mermaids are supposed to, supposed to be beautiful sea creatures who are half human and half fish. But mermaids exist only in folk tales. They are not real. Yeah, you can uh, do a search for lime green squid and mermaids and you'll find a bunch of stuff for me. A bunch of art for me as well. <laughs> amphibians. What are amphibians that live double lives? Most live in the water when they are young. After they've grown up, they live on land, although they can return to the water to mate and lay eggs. Salamander, frog, toad. What is a tadpole? Where does a tadpole's tail go when the uh, tadpole becomes a frog? It seems to get smaller and smaller, but it's not really shrinking. It's changing. It's slowly becoming part of the rest of the tadpole's body. During this time of change, the tadpole grows hind legs and then a pair of front legs. Its gills change into lungs so it can breathe air. Sorry, I got a little thing that's bugging me under my little piece of skin on my nail. Come on. Get out of there. Toad tadpoles change in much the same way as frog tadpoles. There's the egg sacs. There's a little tadpole he's coming up. And they're growing their uh, leggies and the spines are... They're growing over their into their spines. <laughs> what is the difference between a toad and a frog? A toad is usually a chubby creature with rough, bumpy skin and no teeth. A frog is thinner, has smooth skin, and usually has teeth. Like all amphibians, frogs and toads are born in the water and return to there to mate, but many frogs also spend a large part of their adult lives in the water, while most toads do not. A frog's eggs are different, are often found in big clumps of, in the water. 
Toga's eggs are often found in lo long strings like beads. You like catching froggies? I don't think you've ever been near water where there was froggies. <laughs> Hi, baby. Looks like the paper. <laughs> Can you get warts from a toad? No, you can't get warts by touching a toad. That is just superstition. The rough skin of a toad looks as if it is covered with warts, and that is probably why the story got started. However, the toad is not completely harmless. When a toad is attacked by another animal, it sends out a liquid poison from the bumps on its skin. The other, the poison hurts the attacker's mouth and may keep it from eating the toad. If you catch a toad and it lets out some, kind, some of this liquid, be careful not to rub your eyes. The liquid will make them sore, but it will not give you warts. You have to kiss a lot of toads before you find a prince. A toad eats about 100 insects each, each day, or every day. What do frogs eat? <laughs> Luckily for us, frogs eat mosquitoes, flies, moths, beetles, small crayfish, and worms. <laughs> Here's the World War Flying Ace, World War One Flying Ace, bringing his sup with camel in for a landing. I'm exhausted. This stupid war is too much. I need a night of revelry. I need to forget. I shall go into the village and enjoy a delicious dinner, perhaps from frog eggs, frog's eggs. Perhaps some dark-haired lass will share my table. Hmm, I'll have to watch what I say tonight and to not become too talkative. Spies. Uh, I guess those are little, uh, little woodstocks. <laughs> Do people really eat frog's legs? Oh, frog. Did he say frog's eggs or frog's legs? Oh, he said frog's legs. Even with my reading glasses, it was... Tough to see. Do people really eat frogs' legs? Yes, many people enjoy eating frogs' legs. I have a story about too, that too. <laughs> when I was sick in the hospital with leukemia, my parents went and my, my sister went to a Vietnamese restaurant and had frogs' legs without me, and I still never had the chance to try them again. I just never think of going to a Vietnamese restaurant and don't really have the money. And if I do have the money, I'm usually thinking sushi. How far can a frog jump? The longest frog uh, jump on record is 17 feet and 4 inches. How pedestrian. Ah, I wonder if this is where I got part of my idea for my tricky story. I made a, a story on a 90s PC kid's word processor, and it was about a frog that could jump really high and do a backflip. <laughs> it was, ooh, wow, he can do a flip, because I had made a paper frog, and somehow the paper was stiff enough that when it jumped, it did a backflip. So I'm like, oh, wow, look at that, cool, <laughs> and landed on its, on its feet, you know. So I wrote, like, three stories about it, and then the final story is about how the dog stepped on it and killed it. <laughs> Oh, goodness. What is the world's largest frog? The largest frog is the Goliath frog of West Africa. The biggest one ever caught weighed more than 7 pounds and was over 32 inches long with its legs spread out. So, 32 inches. 30 inches? Uh, yeah. Maybe? Something like that? <laughs> I, have, I have my markers for where where the screen is, <laughs> for the, where the camera is showing. What is the biggest amphibian? The world's smallest frog could fit inside a thimble. The biggest amphibian is the giant salamander of, giant, of China and Japan. One found in 1920. In 1920, in 1920, was five feet long and weighed almost 100 pounds. Whoa. Where do salamanders live? Adult salamal, sal, salamanders, <laughs> salamanders are never far from water. They die if they can't keep their skin moist. Some grown salamanders live in ponds and streams. Others live on land, in damp places that are cool and dark. You can find them in shady woods. Often they lie under stones or in hollow logs. I think I found a salamander once in those those old days in that old first house. Um, on the back of, of the wall. Like, just hanging out there. It was a lizard, but it was slimy. And I didn't, like, lizard-shaped, but was slimy, and I didn't understand. I guess that's why, because salamanders are amphibians, whereas lizards are reptiles. What kind of puppy never barks? A mud puppy. What are mud puppies? Newts and efts? Efts? I've never heard of an eft. <laughs> mud puppies and newts are simply kinds of salamanders. According to some, t according to the time, oh, during the time newts are living on land, they are called efts. Really? As efts, they are orange colored. When they go back to the water, they turn green? 
Interesting. I'd never heard of that. Or I guess if I read that, I didn't ever understand it. Did you know that sometimes different kinds of animals depend on each other for survival? Inside the termite live thousands of tiny one-celled animals called protozoa. The termite eats wood, the protozoa digest the wood, and the termite is then able to digest what they leave behind. <laughs> so the termite is is pooping out, is digesting protozoa poop and then pooping that out. <laughs> and termite, the protozoa and termite are a team. They need each other. In fact, they couldn't survive without each other. This kind of relationship is called symbiosis. Symbiosis. No, no, our relationship is friendship, not symbiosis. Chomp, chomp. Is that termites? I wonder how they do that. Ah, pufferfish. Look like quite ordinary when they are... Th but when they're threatened by an enemy, <laughs> they can expand themselves. <laughs> My baby kitty, I love you. But when they're threatened by an enemy, they can expand themselves with water to several times their normal size. Trying to grab the next page here. Then the pufferfish look way much bigger and the enemy is frightened away. By having elastic skin, I assume. Most animals have to spend a lot of time finding food and shelter, but parasites depend on other animals. Some dogs are esper experts on one of the best known parasites, the flea. Please, how embarrassing. <clears throat> I know where the food is, so forget it. I'd make a terrible bee. When honeybees dance in the air, it's not just for fun. They are really letting other bees from their hive know where to find food. Fellow workers watch the honeybee dance and are able to get directions that will lead them to the exact location of pollen and nectar. I'm sorry, ma'am, I wasn't paying attention. I accident light. Look at you. Yeah, you want a kiss? No. I love my baby Skittle. I'm sorry, ma'am, I wasn't paying attention. I accidentally stepped on a bug on my way to school today. I feel so guilty. I hate taking a life. Punch me, ma'am. Give me an F in something. <laughs> That's how I feel anytime I see a cracked snail shell. Or if I do it myself. I'm like, oh no, I just crushed their house all over them. And that's got to be horrible. The hermit crab is born without a hard shell because it doesn't have a home to call its own. It has to find a shell from another animal that will fit. Barnacles are a kind of shellfish that spend their entire adult lives fastened to one spot. Some attach themselves to rocks. Other cling to crabs, sharks, and whales. One ship can be the home for more than a hundred tons of barnacles. Sometimes barnacles have to be scraped off ship bottoms because they slow the ship's speed too much. There's some barnacles. There's the hermit crab. Camouflage. Blending in with your surroundings can be very important in the animal world. The inchworm is a real camouflage artist. When a spider comes near, the inchworm freezes and pretends to be a twig. It blends in so well that the spider will often walk across, right across the twig without suspecting a thing. Hey, stupid cat. No, you're not a stupid cat. You're a beautiful cat. Yeah. Hey, stupid cat. Do, what? Do you know why cats' eyes shine at night? Slash. Forget it. You can find out for yourself in Volume 3. Woohoo! All right. Yeah, let's go look at the... Uh... Holy frig. This one says 1972. Unless that's the Charlie Brown copyright. Photograph and illustration credits are copyright... 1972 but the copyright 1980 uh, features syndicate I guess is the uh, are the books themselves interesting so the artwork had been worked on since 1972 and they decided to or they were already parts of some of the comics I doubt that some of them are very are too specific for that but I hope you enjoyed that uh, Charlie Brown's Cyclopedia next all kinds of animals from dinosaurs to elephants. I'll see you there. Now I gotta turn off the thing without Skittles jumping away. <laughs> I guess I'll just take this down.